let you know if we do find out that he plans on doing that. That, to me, is what is so stunning. One of the things that are so stunning, and I've got a whole segment dedicated to precisely that point. I want to come back to another one of your points in the whole, look at me, I'm behaving so well from last night. But Tara, just to you and what we're talking about, the president's tweets this morning, you know, this is, he's, you know, Twitter fingers are working as, as bomb squads are being called in to investigate yet another suspic suspicious package here in downtown, you know, New York, and Trump is blaming the media. You know, Donald Trump has to be one of the most malignant narcissists I've ever seen in, a, in, in public office. Mm. He's incapable of ever taking responsibility for anything. He's constantly the victim, constantly. Points the finger at everybody but himself. Now, no one's saying that Donald Trump is, you know, responsible for this person putting a bomb and sending it into, you know, packages across the country. But to be so unaware of what he says and does every single day, to think that this doesn't contribute to the division in this country is pretty astonishing. And that he's surrounded by a bunch of enablers who's, who seem to not think there's anything wrong with that, that they're pushing forward this narrative that it's okay for the president to turn around and try to blame the media. It's our fault. When was the last time the media, we, we're not out there saying that we're the enemy of the people. The president of the United States is. The enemy of the people? The free press in this country, that is not what we do in America. When you dissent and you have a dissenting opinion as in, in, in political discussions or political opponents, we don't vilify them to the point where we, we glorify violence against, the, against them. This has been a purposeful tactic by the President of the United States since the election to constantly play, play the victim so that his followers never know when he's being held accountable. And look at what we see. We saw signs, for goodness sakes, at that rally last night of people holding up fake news, fake bombs. Really? Tell that to the law enforcement officers who are handling those bombs. Tell that to the people who are there to protect those targets, how fake it was. And the President of the United States can't, take, can't rise to the occasion and use his bully pulpit to say enough is enough on both sides. We've seen a, of, a violent act on the other side. You know, we've got Antifa and those things. But God forbid he stands up and rises to the occasion. But I've got news for the I, American people. He never will. Yeah, I, I just come back to a really simple question, which is just where is his human?